Here are some examples using Hubble's law to determine distances and also the recession speed of the galaxy. So after a while, because we are able to notice many, many galaxies, scientists stop naming them after romantic Greek gods and Greek mythology. So as a typical physics person, we're just going to go with the code 4889. Okay, but we do know the recession velocity given is this one. 6.4 times 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Estimate the distance in M. Okay, so we're not going to use uh, luminosity because it's so very, very, feels very far away. And you are asked to take the Hubble's constant as 2.2 times 10 to the power negative 18 second. So let's write down the Hubble's equation. That would be recession velocity is equal to H0 times D. Because the further away the galaxy is, the greater the D directly proportional to the recession speed. That is your Hubble's law. So we're going to just put it in. It's pretty straightforward. Plug and pay. Plug and play. D. Okay, so we can just, you know, break out our calculator. Okay, so astrophysics at this level, you know, when we're doing level one, ground zero astrophysics, laying down the foundation, we are not doing too complicated calculation, just familiarizing with the pillar and key relationships of the of the field. So this is D, 2.9 times 10 power 24 meter. Yes, very far. Cannot use see feed variable. Cannot even see the star. Can only see the galaxy, which is a lot of stars. All right, let's look at the next question. The wavelength of a spectral light uh, line in the spectrum of light from a distant galaxy is measured to be this one. Okay, so this one is from a distant galaxy. The same line measured in the lab, in the good old planet Earth, our solar system, is 393.3. Calculate A, the speed of recession of the galaxy, and based on the speed of recession, find how far away that galaxy is. So we already know from the first example, if I know the recession speed, I can find the distance. But how do we have to, how do I find the recession speed? Well, this one, we use our good old Doppler. Okay, so I'm going to use the Doppler relationship. The shift in wavelength over wavelength is approximately equal to um, the speed of recession divided by the speed of light. Okay, so I'm going to take 398.6 minus 393.3 okay so obviously you can tell in the lab the wavelength is shorter so this one the longer one that is observed is red shifted which makes sense recession of galaxy galaxy moving away all right so i'm gonna plug this in and i'm going to divide by the original one in my lab 393.3 nanometer this one here will always be the uh on earth you never measure the the location of the observer all right i'm going to find the recession speed when 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, so from here we can find b 4.02 that's what i got 4.0 no, 4.04. Yeah, 4.0 lah. Times 10 to the power of 6 meter per second. You want to write more as F also can, but these are all just estimate. All right. So for B, we're going to use uh, Hubble's law. Uh, recession velocity is equal to H naught times the distance. So 4.0 times 10 to the power of 6. We're going to steal the H naught from question, previous question. 2.2 times 10 to the power negative 18 distance. Making sure everybody here is comfortable in SR. Negative 18. So now D is 1.8 times 10 to the power 24 meter. This is how far away the galaxy is. Really far. You can even convert it to light years if you want to. Pretty far. Okay. Astronomical distance, we are just estimating. Okay. So that's it. For this uh, nice and straightforward application of using Hubble's law, hand-in-hand hand with your Doppler shift equation, 
to find how far away certain galaxies are, especially if they're really, really, really far. All right, I'll see you in the next one.